Okay, the easiest way to do this, um, this is the trim you're wanting out of there. So, and you don't want it to do the long stitch down to here because that's the next object. So the easiest thing to do is to insert a tr uh, run stitch down to here and then sequence it properly. And the way you do that is activate the run stitch and you want to start right where that trim is for this object. So we're going to start right here. And um, right clicking is a curve line. Left clicking is a straight line. So we're going to right click all the way down to the circle, which is the start of that next object. So we're going to click right there on the circle and then hit enter. And that creates the run stitch that we need. Now, the way that you want to, to do this is you want to select that first object. Make sure your color object list is open. So I, I selected this one to get down to it. I can tab to the next one. That's the, the object, the first object. And then I'm going to hold the control key down and scroll all the way down to the bottom to grab the run stitch that I just did, which is the last object, holding the control key down. So you'll see it's got two objects now. Then I'm going to scroll all the way back up to the top or close to the top where that this object is and then grab the one right after that one. So that's the three that I want to grab. And now I'm going to hit, you can either hit the one, two, three if you have this toolbar open, or you can right click here and go to sequence by select and watch what it does. It will sequence those. It puts the run stitch that I did in and it took that trim out. So it's going to do this stitch and continually sew down to here and do the next one without any trims. And you can do that with any of them. You just have to select the object. Make sure you put the run stitch at the end of the object, the first object, and the end of the run stitch at the beginning of the next object that you want to go to.